she looks a bit like you. Prince Harry breaks royal protocol by taking a photo of Meghan with a young fan. 9. After the girl's grandmother points out their uncanny resemblance, and the Duchess agrees. Dot. Prince Harry broke royal protocol by taking a photograph of Meghan with a young fan in Sydney, after the Duchess noticed how much the girl looked like her. The Duke of Sussex, 34, was seen calling over his wife after he spotted Seth Hunya Gibbons. 9. In the crowd during a walkabout by the Sydney Opera House on Tuesday, asking her do you want to meet my wife? Harry can then be heard asking the girl, do you want me to take a picture of you two together? With the youngster nodding enthusiastically in response. Her grandmother can be heard telling Meghan, who is pregnant with her first child, we feel she looks a bit like you, to which the Duchess responded. I was literally about to say the same thing. Meghan then noted the Seth Hunya's girls can do anything top, telling the youngster I love your shirt. Royal fans have been gushing over the sweet moment, after footage of the exchange was shared on social media. Following the special moment, Seth Hunya said, I was waiting for Harry to come over and he said girls can do anything, because that's what it says on my shirt. Then he asked me if I wanted to meet his wife. I said yes and then he asked if he could take a photo of me and his wife. Seth Hunya, from Sydney, was with her grandmother Sharon Gibbons and cousin Rebecca Zikarez. Harry then took a photograph of Seth Hunya with Meghan, along with her grandmother Sharon and cousin Rebecca. Meghan also said I look like her when she was little, Seth Hunya said. It made me feel really happy and excited. Rebecca, 17, also got to speak to the couple. Explaining, I said congratulations to them for the baby and I got to shake their hands too. Sharon said was delighted for her granddaughters, commenting, how lucky were they? Harry and Meghan jetted off to the drought-hit country city of Dubbo, in New South Wales, following their whirlwind day in Sydney on Tuesday. For the second day of the royal tour, Meghan wore 108 pounds high-rise jeans by Australian brand, Outland a 110 pounds boss oversized blazer by her friend, Serena Williams, and a Maison Kitsune button-down collar shirt for 40 pounds and 172 pounds ankle boots by J. Crew. The couple looked delighted as they met with five-year-old Luke Vincent, who gave them both big hugs. The royal couple spent the day touring the farming city which is suffering its worst drought since records began in 1900, and their visit brought some much-needed rain. As the heavens opened while Harry made a speech at a community barbecue later in the day, bystanders offered him an umbrella. But Meghan had already stepped in to shield her husband with her own brawly. The prince joked I've got my wife to laughter from the crowd after Meghan stepped in. While meeting well-wishers today, Meghan admitted that she is a bit tired and running on adrenaline, but planning to go ahead with all 76 engagements of the 16-day tour? The Duchess and her husband were in Dubbo. Australia, on the second day of their historic first international tour together which will also take them to New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga over 16 days. To start the day, the rain held off for there a while the children jumped up and down with anticipation, cheering as the couple came down the steps from their RAF jet for the second full day of their royal tour. Despite running behind schedule, Harry and Meghan took their time with the school children the prince bouncing around energetically and Meghan kneeling down to speak to them. Afterwards, Prince Harry and Meghan visited the Royal Flying Doctor Service after their arrival to learn more about the life-saving role the aviation service provides for people living in rural areas. The couple then went to a local farm to meet the Woodley family, who have operated a mixed sheep, cattle and cropping enterprise over five generations since 1887. The Duchess even whipped up a loaf of banana bread to take with her on a visit to a farm to highlight the plight of farmers hit by drought. Pregnant Meghan cooked the delicious treat in the kitchen at Admiralty House, the mansion home of the Governor-General of Australia, on Tuesday night following her first full day of engagements in Sydney. The couple then moved on to Dubbo's Victoria Park for a community barbecue where the Duke of Sussex praised Dubbo's resistance and hardiness in dealing with recent hard droughts in a speech as the rains poured in the city. Harry joked I've got my wife as he was offered an umbrella before taking to the lecternet, as Meghan provided shelter from his side. The couple then moved on to Dubbo Senior College to see the work of nationwide programs that improve the educational outcomes of young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. They are set to fly on to Melbourne on Thursday morning 
before returning to Sydney on Friday for a visit to Bondi Beach. Meghan and Harry announced on Monday they are expecting their first child together, shortly after landing in Sydney.